Hello guys, this is Moro from PrintInfoTech.com and on this video I want to show you some of the uh, new uh, new changes that were seen on the uh, Windows Scooter update and uh, since the uh, build 14946 which was the uh, last video I, um, I created and since then uh, there has been three uh, test version of Windows 10 but none of them included uh, significant changes but there are quite a few th uh, things that uh, that I wanted to point out on this video. Uh, so, so on this video, I'm going to be highlighting the uh, uh, more uh, the more important changes for the uh, build 14951, 14955, and 14965. So let's get right into them. And the first thing I want to point out is now when you open the settings app and you go to update and security and on for developers when you need to enable the developer mode you no longer need to uh, restart your computer to start uh, working on your apps or when you need to test an app and also uh, now the um, uh, Linux Ubuntu for Windows has been updated to version 16.04 uh, uh, from uh, 14.04 uh, that was the, the previous version uh, also when when we go to Windows Inc now when we go to sketchpad or one of the uh, one of uh, those new apps now we also have a uh, protractor that you can use to you know just do the circles and and you can now see that we have a compass as well and you can use the uh, mouse wheel to make it smaller or make it bigger so which is really nice addition uh, for those who need this uh, uh, this tool also um, now on the uh, photos app which unfortunately for some reason it keeps uh, crashing on me let me see if I can open that up now you see it crashes I can I can show you the new features but um, basically the uh, uh, what's changed is now that you can uh, use uh, your pen and use the uh, digital ink and just annotate on top of uh, uh, your pictures which is really nice just to like make it uh, those pictures more fun when you send it or share it to uh, family and friends uh, there is also a new updated camera app that it's also available for phones and the desktop app so let me see if I can just open that up. Let me see if I can do the uh, camera app. So I'm going to open that, and that's how it looks like. Uh, this is the same thing that you're going to see when you use the, uh, the phone. You can access the settings right here, or uh, some settings right there. So you can switch the camera, or you can click right here and just open the setting, just like if you were using uh, your um, phone. All right, so uh, what else is going on? Okay, so the uh, the mail app has been updated, and now let me show you really quick that now you can pop. You can click right here and you can pop the message, and you can actually now use the um, mention to uh, include someone else on your email, and you can simply add, for example, the add and then just do and just write the email or the name of the person and that right there you just uh, added a mention and you, as you can see right here on the uh, uh, the email address for that person as well so this person is going to receive the email as well I don't know why it just that's my email address. for some reason it puts Amazon on uh, as a name which is not uh, right but uh I have to edit my contact to fix it. All right, so uh, let me close that. And those are like the biggest changes on the uh, on the mail app. And now on the um, on the latest version of um, uh, Windows 10, which is the uh, 14965, now we get a virtual touchpad uh, with Microsoft making available for uh, tablets so you can actually connect an external 
uh, monitor to uh, to your tablet and use the uh, virtual uh, touchpad to control that external monitor so to enable that uh, of course you uh, you can use it on your regular PC but if you had a surface or a small tablet you can right click the uh, the taskbar and just click the uh, show touchpad button to enable uh, the uh, the feature and you will see now that we have a touchpad icon right here on the system tray and you can click that and this is the actual uh, touchpad and you got the uh, left click and right click and you can just use your fingers to move the mouse uh, around and control the external monitor which is a really nice addition and if you want to control the settings these are the same settings that you will use uh, for a touchpad so if you come to settings and then go to devices and then you go to touchpad and if you want to disable that click that and and I guess I mean I using a remote desktop but uh, before on on my tablet I was able to click uh, to disable that and the touch the touchpad will automatically disable I don't know what's going on but as you know all the features that we're seeing on Windows 10 right now they're uh, they're in development so they're not working really well uh, but that's a really nice addition and now we have a touchpad and we can control the same settings uh, the same settings that would apply to a, a, to a real touchpad you can apply it to uh, the virtual um, uh, touchpad as well alright so uh, and finally on we've seen this before on previous builds that now we have um, a, like uh, an address bar uh, when um, opening the uh, registry editor but now what Microsoft is doing they added uh, shortcuts so for example instead of uh, typing the entire right here for example a computer uh, backslash h key a current user you can actually now type for example if I want to jump to machine I can type the um, h k l m and it will jump right to the um, uh, to the H key local machine and you can complete your you for example like if you need to access uh, the hardware section you will do something like H uh, K L M and then the backslash and then we should do hardware and that should take you to the hardware section will it make it you know a little bit faster for users to uh, to get to that destination uh, the uh, the shortcuts are so we have for root that will be the um, HKCR and for let me see let me, clear, let me clear that and then we have let me see what else for users I already did that one that will be the uh, uh, HKCU and for machine that will be the K, uh, HKLM and for user that will be the uh, HKU and that's about it I don't think I don't think the uh, they added a, an option for the uh, for the current config but uh, at least you have uh, these are the uh, four most uh, used section on the registry uh, most users won't be using this because this is like a really advanced and if you touch anything in here and you don't do it right you're going to actually uh, uh, create more issues on your computer so I don't recommend anyone to uh, change any settings in the registry unless you know what you're doing so this those are basically all the major changes on 14951 uh, the 14955 and build 14965 so I'll make sure to make another video um, when when there are more features to um, to highlight but for now I just uh, I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing